looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the upcoming week of Mutt content, guys. So it is Sunday. Super exciting stuff, guys. We have the NFL honors that have been going on. Remember, that's going to be getting bracketed. They go into packs 48 hours. We got, like, the rookies first. Then, you know, you get, like, man of the year. Like, you know, it's been bracketed. That's typically how uh, it works. Typically, NFL honors is, like, a week-long process of, like, getting the cards, which is typically how we ran team of the year in the past as well, which this year they just dropped it all at once. They used to actually bracket that as well. But this year, they went ahead, and they're going to be doing the NFL honors the way they usually do it. So that's good. I was some consistency there. And then, of course, guys, we have a bunch of stuff to go over. Now, again, there's going to be a weird period of time for many people because you have to understand, for old Madden players, you know what's about to go down. For newer Madden players, you may expect, you know, we had content every Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday and occasionally Monday, right? Maybe some news on a Sunday, right? But because we just finished the Super Bowl, this is typically the week or so where it gets a little bit slower. Yes, we're going to get Ultimate Legends. Yes, we're going to get a few other things. But, you know, Team of the Week Tuesdays are gone. Wildcard Wednesdays have been kind of BS all year anyways. And, um, you know, Thursday LTDs, you know, like that kind of stuff is everything's just not there like it once was. So it's going to feel a bit weird. Now, yes, we have plenty of postseason content. There's potentially a blockbuster promo, positional heroes, combine, draft, NFL honors, Easter, uh, so on and so forth, free agency. So much stuff. Ultimate Legends all year long, right? Golden tickets. But the thing is, the key thing there is that's not going to be yet, right? So we're going to be going to like a Madden Limbo period, at least for this week, where it's going to be a little bit slower because, of course, they're going to be transitioning from the, you know, the NFL season and the postseason into the Madden postseason, right? This is the playoffs of Madden. This is like you know, after the playoffs. This is like the Madden offseason. We're still going to have some cool stuff, but it's going to be at a different pace and rate than we're used to. Now, guys, before we get into the video, if you are new to the channel, subscribe, turn on that noti bell. Always like the video and comment, guys. Helps out a lot. So if you could nice, so if you could so kindly go like the video, comment down below. What was your favorite promo this year? I'd love to hear that from a lot of you guys. But moving on. So first things first, guys. As of tomorrow Monday, what will we be getting? More than likely, guys. If we're lucky, maybe some NFL honors reveals, NFL honors drops. Right? Gonna be, no and it's not like a reveal, like you know, oh, who's the player? It's what's the player stats, right? So if you guys want to see all that, make sure you're following EA, uh, the EA Twitter page. They sometimes reveal stuff on there, as well as guys, you know, you can be pulling for stuff. Moving on to Tuesday, we no longer have Team of the Week Tuesday or Team of the Year Tuesday kind of stuff, so that's gone as well. So you have to expect that, you know, moving on from there. Wednesday, we will have Wild Card Wednesday. Now, I'm kind of hoping for low-key guys some power-ups. Now, there's a few guys that have been needing a power-up for a while, right? And that's just been the case with a lot of things, that they need a power-up. And the issue with guys not having these power-ups is that it really has hurt their ability to play as, you know, kind of like meta cards per se, right? Some cards are literally a power-up away from being useful or being metas or gods. But the issue is Madden didn't give them a power-up when they dropped them. So, in my opinion, I would like to see a power-up on a few guys. Now, specifically, guys, who could use a power-up? Uh, just to give you right off the rip, guys, NFL Honors. For some reason, every year they give us these rookies without power-ups. So... Uh, Chase Young's the only one up. Herbert must have been bought out. Chase Young could use a power, right? Chase Young's a power up away from a 98 overall. A plus one speed, plus some excel, plus some block shed. Uh, maybe some more abilities unlocked. Like, it's a big difference to have that, that power up. And people just like powering up their players, right? It just feels satisfying. Like, you powered up your guy. And there's plenty more guys. I don't want to, I don't want to, like, go on it for too long in terms of, like, who and what. Because I, I tried that before. And it takes a while to really, like, you guys know what I'm talking about. There's plenty of players who need the power up. Sometimes finding them, not always. One specific promo that could use some power-ups, guys, because remember, the reason power-ups are important, too, is that when you get nat players, you want to power them up, right? Why? Because you're stuck with them. So maybe you pull JD McKissick, and you're stuck with him. Maybe like a power-up from Trey Hendrickson. Could use a power-up. Uh, let's see. Trey Hendrickson's one of them. Uh, more Trey Hendrickson. Corey Lindsley, you pulled one of the, the centers. He's a really good center. I would like to have him for the rest of the year. Put a power-up on him. Jesse Bates, good for safety. Put a power-up on him. Jack Fox, the punter, doesn't really matter as much there. But trust me, there are plenty of guys throughout promos that need power-ups. Deshaun Jackson, Tim Hill, we could use one. There's so many guys who could use a power-up so that their cards could be solidified on your team. And, you know, it gets their overall up. It gets your overall to a 97 on the player. Helps out maybe your overall team overall. And, you know, it's not that every player has to deal with that. But there's, there's, a, there's a handful of people who are probably stuck with players in the team that, like, need power-ups. Or, you know, and whatnot. Moving on from that, guys, that's Wild Card Wednesday now for Thursday. I'm pretty sure the LTDs are done, like I said. Uh, I could be wrong. Could have blanked on that one, but just saying. Friday, we may be getting some reveals for something. Uh, you know, one thing that I do expect to maybe come in the near future is team MVPs. 
Now, team MVPs, if you guys don't know, I don't know if they're going to drop it this year. So, last year, I think they skipped it, but in Madden 19, they did have it. Team MVPs was a super fun promo. It came around February, March-ish. Now, I don't know. I'd say late February is when I remember it happening. Team MVP is pretty much the ending result of team standouts, right? So we had 89, 92, 95. Team MVPs would be 97, 98 overalls. They pretty much be, these are the standouts of the year. Like they said, it kind of goes with the team of the week, you know, and that kind of went hand in hand. Team MVP would be like the team of the year of team standouts. It would be the finalization of every player, the MVP for each team. So this year would be like, let's say Kyler Murray or, um, you know, uh, Kenny Drake, let's just say. For the Giants, maybe it would be Leonard Williams or it would be James Bradbury. Now, yes, there's a lot of cars that, you know, that maybe don't even need upgrades anymore. But if it goes by Team MVPs, it could be fun now. Team MVPs, you know, it would be fun for, for multiple reasons. First off, great players. Second, quantity, large amounts of those great players. Third, theme teams. Theme teams get so many good upgrades from Team Like, Team MVPs was like, you can call it the team uh, theme team captain. You're essentially getting a 98 overall card on your theme team, right? No matter what team you like. Team MVPs, I hope we do end up seeing that. I don't think it'll be this week. I, I'm, just, I'm putting it out there that it's potential that it could come out anytime because I don't know since they skipped it last year what kind of timeline it would fall under. Other than that, guys, remember, we are going to be a little bit slower this week. There's not going to be too much content. So like I said, expect all you have to expect for the week. NFL honors, if we're lucky, some more Black, uh, Black History Month continued content. And if we're really lucky, a few... Uh, teasers reveals or tips towards a future thing that like or even though no, honestly the best case scenario for the week is that Kralo even gives us information about like oh you know golden tickets will be coming back this year or combine just any if he even says a word that relates to content not for this week but it'll be for future stuff you definitely keep it you know keep an eye out keep your ears open for that as well as guys we will have ultimate legends continuing now remember ultimate legends the first week is typically a bigger drop so don't expect like that's always happened it's typically a bigger drop because it's the first time breakthrough you know first time they're breaking into the game so they want to drop a large quantity of cards for everyone saying you know enjoy and stuff but typically the following weeks go to a regular format similar to legends right if you guys were following legends early in the year legends were very similar to this ultimate legend format so when the game first dropped right and this is weeks on weeks and weeks of legends this is crazy how many legends we got we got Merlin Olsen, Richard Seymour, Bobby Bell, Atwater, Joe Thomas, Jerry Rice. And if I'm not wrong, we got Bettis in there as well. And Dan Marino. This was the first drop of cards, I'm pretty sure. Maybe Morton Anderson in there too? No. I don't remember, but we had, a, we had like a big drop. We had like eight players. So that was the first week of Legends, right? Now the thing is, after that, we went back to a two format. Like, it was Bo and Junior Seau. Then it was John Lynch and Tony Gonzalez. Then it was Lawrence Taylor and Reggie Wayne. Then Dion and Vic. And that's it. It was two legends at a time. So Ultimate Legends follows a similar format where the first drop is big, you know, just break us into the scenery, get us into the promo. And then after that, after that, for the most part, guys, you have to understand, it's just going to be a regular repeating program. So at least we'll have a, at least we'll have a repeating program for the rest of Madden, or for a decent portion of the rest of Madden. And then, you know, we're waiting for some bigger stuff, but that'll, that'll be like a repeating stuff. But guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Like I said, we have NFL Honor still dropping, potentially. Some hints, teasers, info regarding future stuff. Um, and if we're really lucky, maybe a team MVP within the next two weeks, three weeks. I don't know, though. And, of course, Ultimate Legends are going to be continuing. But that's pretty much it, guys. Black History Month promo. Maybe we can get some more stuff because, of course, that's still going on. But, um, yeah, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn that notification bell, guys. Always like the video and comment. It helps out a lot. So comment down below what was your favorite promo of the year. And then smash the like button, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.